Hello cousins, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Big Mama Cooks and I have an Instagram page where I post recipes all the time at Big Mama Cooks underscore. Today's recipe is going to be costillas guisada or braised ribs, Dominican style. This is a delicious recipe that my whole family loves every time I make it. All of the ingredients will be listed in the bottom bar, but I'm going to walk you through them first. I have here about two and a half pounds of pork ribs. I also have that's ground oregano in the white container i have orange and yellow seasoning packets i have adobo i have um ranchero liquid seasoning i have garlic paste sofrito some limes and a chicken bouillon cube i like to use the accent brand seasoning packets because these seasoning packets give great flavor and great color and they're never too salty never too orange or too yellowy it's like always the perfect color so this is the brand that i like to use all of the exact measurements are going to be listed on the bottom bar but i seasoned my costillas really well i married all of these flavors really well and then i'm going to go on with the cooking process in a large pot going on medium high heat I'm going to add about a tablespoon of oil. To that, I'm going to add in my chicken bouillon cube. I'd also like to note that I like to use the chicken bouillon cubes from the Maggie brand, specifically the chicken bouillon cubes with the chicken that has the black outline. Why specifically the chicken with the black outline? Because it's the bouillon cubes with the Dominican flavors. I'm going to move my chicken bouillon cube around until it begins to melt and toast. This is almost the same way you toast sugar, you brown sugar for cooking, and this releases a lot of excellent flavors flavor once my chicken bouillon cube has toasted browned i am going to add in my costillas once all of the costillas are in the pot i am going to leave them alone not touch them do nothing to them for exactly 10 minutes why because this is when they begin to brown look at that beautiful browning color oh i love browning <laughs> especially browning the chicken bouillon cubes oh so much flavor after those 10 minutes, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add in the reserved liquid where we seasoned our costillas. So the leftover seasoning that was left in the bowl, I'm not going to add in my greens yet. So I'm going to add in the liquid and I'm going to turn everything around and I'm going to lower the flame just to medium. This is going to go for exactly 25 minutes. So the first 10 minutes and then I'm going to make 25 minutes all together right now is 35 minutes. When we come back at the end of those 25 minutes, this has been going. A lot of juices have been naturally released from the costillas. I'm going to move everything around. I'm going to cover this back up and I'm going to raise the flame again to medium high. And we're going to let this go for 15 minutes. At the end of those 15 minutes when we return, most of our juices have dried up. At this point, this is when I add in the greens and an additional cup of water. So I'm adding in my greens, my peppers and onions, plus a cup of water. I'm going to mix everything together and I'm going to cover this just for 10 minutes on medium low heat. So I lowered the flame. When we come back at the end of those 10 minutes, our vegetables have wilted down. Our costillas are wonderfully tender. At this point, all I'm going to do is start skimming some of the grease off the top. So I have a little bowl right next to it and I'm just going to go start pressuring down to remove the grease and it comes up right away because it separates from the liquid. So when I press down the spoon, the grease goes right into the spoon. I'm going to do this because I don't feel comfortable in just all of this additional grease this is just a personal preference of mine this is how it looks when all of the grease has been skimmed this is about two cups of grease that was skimmed off I added in a half a cup of water just to create a little more gravy and my costillas are done we have made look how tender that is it goes straight through and that's what I love about costillas guisada I served my costillas guisada with a side of moro de habichuelas negras. Thank you for watching, cousins. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again next time.